I mean, we were talking about uh, a bonfire one time where it was like, we brought pallets on, on pallets out there. And like, yeah. I mean, there was like, we used to burn like, I don't know, 20 pallets a night. Yeah. Something crazy yeah. like that. There was, remember one time we burned a boat? Were you there for that? <laughs> yeah. We were, I, I forgot whose boat it was. With the fiberglass going everywhere. Some and guy was like, let's just burn it. And I'm yeah. like, what? I remember beds, couches, people would just bring stuff. We burned burn. a shack. Somebody brought like shack. a little mini uh, like shed out there. It was a wood shed and they were like, let's burn it. And we burnt it. I think people in big cities don't realize how much fun that is. Yeah. Cause I, I know people that have visited. I have a friend from North Carolina or South Carolina and he came to visit and we took him to a bonfire and he's like, dude, this is what you guys do out here. I'm like, well, our crowd, not everyone does, but I don't, I, it made me realize, I'm like, oh, this isn't even an option like in a bigger city. Cause there's not, they don't have desert areas like us. They don't have places to go where they, they can actually just do st- you know, stuff like this. And even us, we had to find a specific area. Cause like we, we had like the pit and the pit yeah. would get popped all the time. There would always be LCPD showing up. I wonder up if that's still a thing. Trucks. You think people still go out there? No, because it's a police station, fire station <laughs> oh, right there. Geez. Like to get out to where like, we'll show these kids. Yeah. So we're going to build a fire. We're going to a fire station. <laughs> and I might get in trouble for saying this, but there's a, there's a spot. I mean, if you don't know where it is, you don't know where it is, but it's called the end of the road. Oh yeah. Now, I remember yeah, yeah. that we party at the end of the road. Don't and tell like, people in case it could still be a place we go to. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Cause I'm not telling you how to get there. I'm just saying that's the spot we yeah, used to go. Yeah. I remember we'd be at a house party. Mm-hmm. and house party get popped by LCPD, whatever. Oh, you guys need to go. Are right, you mind if we take our alcohol with us? Like we're, you know, we're all of age. We're just no, take my alcohol with us. All right, yeah, fine. Whatever. We'd be walking out with like cases of beer and bottles and coolers and yeah. all kinds of stuff. And they'll be like, Hey, where are you guys going? And I used to tell them all the time. Yeah. Hey, we're going to the end of the road. If you know where it's at. Yeah. I mean, it's there <laughs> and like leave. And the cops would be like, where the hell's the end of the road? <laughs> you know, like, is that a house party? Is Some that a sort spot? of metaphor? Find yeah. me where the light shines the brightest. Yeah. And it's crazy because every time, like, you can go every, like, Thursday through Saturday, there would always be a party out there. Yeah, I remember I remember going out there sometimes with some other people were there, and we're like, hey, this is our spot, man. Like, <laughs> even yeah. though it's, like, a public desert, anyone can yeah. go there, this is our spot. And we'd, like, fight to get our spot back. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, like, the pit guys. They, like, they were like, that was, like, we're the pit. This is our crew. This is, yeah. our, this is where we're at. And- I remember so strange. So I, I kind of had, like, I have a lot of different friends. So I had different circles of friends. And I really love going to the bonfire areas. And we had our own little group that would all go out there. Yep. But every now and then I would bring some friends from like other circles. Like, what are you doing? I'm going to a bonfire. You want to go? And mm-hmm. they bring them out there. And like most of my friends would always be like, who do you fucking hang out with, man? Like, I remember the first time I brought one of my friends um, and I'll leave him out of the story just in case mm-hmm. I brought him out there. Uh, and he goes, man, is, he asked me before we went, like, hey, what is it like? I'm like, this is just a bunch of chill people hanging out. Mm-hmm. Nothing crazy. Uh, we pull up to go to the bonfire. And uh, Buddy is shooting a propane tank with a rifle, like in the bond. <laughs> he threw it in the bonfire, yeah. and he's trying to shoot it with a rifle so it could to go explode. Off. Yeah. And then he, my buddy's like, "What is going on? That guy's out of his mind." I'm like, "Oh, like I should have prepped him for like this crowd." Yeah. Because I'm like, to me, this isn't that weird. I've seen Buddy do weirder stuff, but to him, he's just like, "Dude, this guy's gonna murder us, probably." <laughs> yeah. Well, if you ever met Buddy, it's like, oh damn. Yeah. yeah it's like a normal he's, thing. He's, yeah. But then it's like, oh yeah, our crew out there, we would always do. Mm, crazy stuff like yeah. when he was like oh it's not that you're not crazy i was like i, I never tell anybody it's not crazy i'll be like if you want to go out here it's gonna be crazy see that's what i should have done i think my version of that was like i was i was desensitized so to mm-hmm. me i was like this is just like the weekend this is just kind of what yeah. we do and you were trying to get them to go you're not trying to get them not to go that's probably yeah. what it was too yeah i think yeah you sugarcoat things a lot as, as, mm-hmm. we do that as people all the time i try to be as honest as i can but i think back then that was my honest uh, to me i was like this isn't that weird to me well it wasn't and, and we did that that was a like a daily occurrence. I hate to say like that was kind of like we were always doing something. Some of my wildest memories were at bonfires out there, man. Mm-hmm. Just some crazy stories like fights. I was getting fights all the time. And when I look back, I'm like, uh, I'll take the good part to those memories, but there's definitely some bad ones there that I was like, I, I should have been home studying or something, do something. Pretty- Yo, your palms are sweaty, but hit the subscribe button already. Mom's spaghetti is red like the button to which you are heading to click on confetti.